So uh, the talk title is For Whom the Plant Genome Has Been Sequenced. So it is the 24th talk of a series targeting to promote algal biotechnology and enhance understanding of the potential applications of agricultural products. We hope the series will inspire international scholars, researchers, farmers, and business in the agricultural field, as well as the interested public. Let me introduce our speaker, Professor Sachiko Isobe, who started her career as a conventional red clover beaters in 1997. She gained her PhD from the United Graduate School of Agricultural Sciences, Kagoshima University in 2006, and has worked for Pan Molecular Genetics and Genomics in Kasusa DNA Research Institute since 2007. Currently, she is the lab head of plant genetics and genomics performing the novel whole genome sequencing, molecular genetics, database construction, and digital phenotyping of plants. She is also a leader of the laboratories of plant DNA analysis, which provides contract-based based services, such as genome analysis of cultivated plants and related micro microorganisms, and the development of practical technology for their analysis. In recent years, the genomes of many plant species has been sequenced with the advancement of next generation sequencing technologies. Usage of plant genome information has become more popular in diverse research fields. In this presentation, the current status of plant genome sequencing will be introduced. Development of an easy to use database is also necessary to widespread the use of genome sequence information. Therefore, uh, Professor Isabel's team has developed a simple and user-friendly plant genome portal site, Plant Garden. The usage of Plant Garden will be also described in this talk. So without further ado, so uh, let me invite um, Professor Isabel to the stage. So Professor Isabel, you can share your screen now. Uh, thank you for me, uh, give, giving me this opportunity, and uh, I sincerely apologize my uh, mistake about uh, uh, not coming to the on time. And also thank you for everybody for uh, your patience for waiting for me. Um, so I changed. So can you see my slide? Yes, here. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Today I uh, talk about about the uh, genome sequencing in plant, and uh, when I uh, discuss about the uh, um, my topic uh, or this uh, uh, seminar with Hong Ming, uh, he said uh, some of uh, uh, attendees are not uh, so much familiar with the genome sequences, so um, <clears throat> that's why. Uh, I uh, put this title uh, for whom the plant uh, genome has been sequenced. And this title is actually come from the uh, famous literature, or, uh, famous uh, movies, uh, uh, for whom the bell tolls. And uh, the uh, original, uh, this uh, uh, word uh, come from the uh, poem uh, written by uh, John Don. Uh, he said, uh, any man's death dismisses me because I'm involved in mankind, and therefore never sent to know for whom the bell tolls, it tolls for theirs. It means, uh, so the twins is not uh, out of your interest, it's uh, uh, very important to you. So <clears throat> I think the uh, genome sequence is the uh, same uh, for the uh, scientists uh, uh, who are study about uh, plant biologies. So because uh, now the uh, uh, this technology is so popular, so not only the uh, plant uh, genomic or genetics uh, scientists, but also <clears throat> many uh, uh, scientists who involved in the plant science uh, uh, now uh, uh, plant genome sequences uh, information are becoming familiar. Uh, that's why uh, today uh, I uh, 
talk about the uh, uh, current stats of our plant genome sequences and as well as the uh, uh, our database structure naming plant garden. So my talk is a, a bit, uh, how to say, uh, Today's my talk is a bit um, for uh, people uh, who is not familiar with the plant genome sequences. So maybe uh, some of you is a bit uh, boring, but uh, I hope uh, you will enjoy uh, my talk today. And uh, uh, this is a, a, a plant genome assembly a current stats. Uh, it's uh, reported by uh, uh, Max et al. Uh, just recently. And in this article, uh, they uh, investigate the uh, uh, survey, the uh, uh, 798 assembly genome sequences uh, published from uh, 2008 and 2020. And as you can see, uh, the last five uh, years, uh, so many apparent genome sequences are published. And not only the numbers, uh, the quality of plant genome sequences uh, uh, improved very much. So at the beginning of the uh, <clears throat> plant genome uh, studies, uh, the assembly sequences is uh, uh, less than uh, chromosome levels. However, uh, recently, uh, many uh, uh, publications uh, reports the uh, chromosome scale of uh, plant genome sequences. And uh, our institute is CASA DNA Research Institute. Uh, this uh, institute is uh, established in 1994. Uh, and uh, this institute is a uh, first institute named DNA. So when uh, our institute was established, uh, of course, there is no uh, plant genome sequences. And uh, people uh, consider the uh, uh, genome sequences is a very, very uh, large task. And uh, doing the plant genome sequences is a kind of uh, dreams. And after them, uh, as you know, uh, uh, there are so uh, 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 after then, as you know, uh, the next generation sequence technology is coming. And first, uh, uh, we used uh, 454 uh, uh, genome sequences technologies, uh, which platform was developed by uh, Roche companies. And then uh, Illumina Short Read uh, coming uh, more popular. And uh, now PacBio and uh, Bio na uh, Nanopore sequences, uh, which produce uh, long read sequences, uh, becoming uh, uh, more popular for uh, plant genome uh, sequencing assemblies. And uh, in Kazusa DNA Research Institute, we also uh, generate the diverse of uh, plant genome sequences. And uh, our main machine is uh, uh, for uh, long genome sequences, uh, we use uh, back by high file read. And for uh, short read, uh, we are using uh, uh, MGI DNV seq uh, recently. And this is a list of the uh, our publications uh, which published uh, uh, 2021 and 2022. And uh, uh, this is an example of how the uh, genome sequences publication uh, uh, is rapidly done. Uh, this uh, is uh, this uh, weight genome sequences. Uh, the uh, corresponding author is uh, Dr. Kazuhiro Sato in Okaiba University. Uh, we are also uh, do the, uh, this work together. And uh, he uh, tried to the uh, genome sequencing assembly uh, with a cultivar filter, uh, which is very popular for uh, 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 producing the uh, um, uh, producing the the uh, plants uh, uh, for the uh, uh, sorry, I, I I forgot to say English name. So anyway, uh, uh, this is a, a very uh, famous the uh, uh, cultivars for uh, uh, wheat uh, genome uh, uh, studies. And uh, in this cases, uh, we are uh, uh, start the work 2000 to June uh, from DNA sequencing, and then uh, uh, 16 cell uh, 
uh, smart cell uh, genome sequencing using a high far read was done. And then uh, chromosome level uh, genome sequencing uh, genome assembly was done uh, by using Omnishi. And then uh, so uh, just a half year uh, it was required for uh, assembly of uh, wheat genome sequencing. Then uh, next half year uh, we uh, make a manuscript and then uh, make a publications. So from the uh, beginning of uh, uh, experiments to the uh, publication, uh, we uh, need just one year. And uh, as you know, the wheat genome size is very large. It's uh, 70 gigabases. So uh, before uh, it was a very difficult, uh, wheat was a very difficult uh, plant species for genome assembly. But now uh, you can uh, do the uh, publications uh, just uh, only for uh, one year. And uh, so next generation uh, uh, sequencing uh, changes the world a lot, but the, uh, so what is the original generation? And this is uh, so Sangha method. Uh, what's uh, original uh, generations uh, against the next generation sequencers. And actually this Sangha method is uh, uh, still very uh, excellent technologies. So even the uh, uh, NGS technology are becoming uh, very popular. Uh, it is uh, very good for uh, getting the uh, high accurate genome sequences uh, for a very small samples. So, uh, we, in Katsa DNA Research Institute, we also uh, still use uh, these technologies uh, for some of our plant uh, experiments. And for uh, NGS technologies, uh, so how much impact has the next generation sequence has given on the world? So it's uh, actually the uh, same as uh, telephones. So uh, telephone and uh, smartphone is uh, totally different things, but uh, we call uh, this is a phone. So uh, next generation uh, NGS is uh, almost the same. So first generation sequence is Sangha method, and NGS is uh, actually very different uh, technology and uh, change the world, but uh, we are just to say uh, it is a, a sequencing uh, uh, sequencing method and uh, also gives the uh, same times of uh, information. And uh, when uh, we talk the uh, um, energy impact of NGS technologies, uh, many people uh, use uh, this famous graph, uh, which uh, uh, available available uh, from the uh, uh, NCBI uh, website, uh, uh, say uh, cost per uh, uh, human genomes. And uh, so I think uh, you all, many of you already seen uh, this uh, famous graphs and the uh, cost of uh, human genome was uh, rapidly uh, decreased uh, after NGS uh, uh, technologies uh, coming. And uh, so this is the uh, latest graph and you can see uh, uh, the cost uh, of NGS technology uh, was not so uh, uh, changed uh, from the uh, 2015 to uh, 2021. But actually, uh, it is not true because uh, this graph uh, didn't show you um, uh, which uh, didn't show you uh, uh, the uh, they uh, calculate uh, based on which uh, genome sequences. And I think uh, this uh, cost may be uh, uh, calculated uh, based on Illumina genome sequences recently. However, uh, 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 in recently, uh, more cheaper uh, NGS technology is available. So uh, if we say I uh, use uh, calculate the cost uh, based on different types of uh, NGS technologies, I think uh, you can see um, that cost is still uh, decreasing. And uh, another point of this graph is uh, this uh, graph show uh, just the uh, cost for uh, gen uh, getting genome sequencing data and uh, not include the uh, bioinformatics uh, analysis. 
uh, it means uh, even though uh, uh, even though uh, the cost of a genome sequencing is uh, reduced, uh, bioinformatics uh, cost is uh, still uh, uh, significant. And uh, so actually, uh, we can get uh, the uh, data more easily. Uh, however, uh, we are a bit stuck uh, in uh, data analysis because we have uh, too much data and uh, the uh, uh, data analysis uh, approaches or algorithms uh, didn't catch the, uh, uh, didn't uh, to say, uh, still uh, have a uh, difficulty uh, to, to, to uh, do some of uh, uh, gen genomic analysis. And uh, so, uh, so first uh, generation of a sequencing is a Sanga, and we, uh, we sometimes say a short read is a second generation sequencing, and the third generation is a, a long uh, read. And so uh, second generation sequencers is uh, we have a variety of sequencing sequencers, and uh, uh, like as a smartphone uh, again uh, the. Uh, we have a multiple platform and also the uh, technology or uh, type of a machine is uh, uh, changed uh, from the beginning to, to uh, recently. For example, uh, uh, when you see the iPhone, uh, the uh, first iPhone and the latest iPhone is uh, uh, the model changed very much and the technology improved very much. And the uh, same thing is happening in uh, NGS technologies. So uh, first, uh, uh, first machine of uh, NGS uh, technologies, such, uh, for example, uh, Illumina uh, machine, this type is uh, of course already gone. And now uh, we have uh, more uh, elegant uh, technologies. Uh, we can use a more uh, 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 so, so sophisticated uh, technologies. So uh, one of the uh, important things of NGS is uh, uh, we should uh, update the latest technology uh, always uh, because uh, uh, knowing the new uh, uh, technology or a new type of machine uh, uh, gives you the uh, more, how to say, more possibility for uh, uh, genomic analysis. And short read, uh, we say uh, short read, but uh, so it how short it is and uh, the short read uh, uh, we are, Recently used uh, is uh, generally ranged from uh, 50 to uh, 150 bases. And uh, you can uh, choose the uh, different uh, read lengths uh, depending on your uh, purpose. And the read type is a single read and parent read. Uh, single read is just to say uh, only one uh, direction of the uh, uh, DNA fragment and who are and read, you can uh, use uh, both. So uh, for uh, genome assembly uh, or uh, variant code, uh, we are uh, using a pair and read is uh, uh, much popular. However, for, uh, we sometimes use a single read for uh, RNA seq analysis or uh, sometimes uh, uh, PCR uh, amplicon sequencing. And for a third generation sequencers, uh, we have a PAC bio and nanopore sequences. And uh, for the um, for PAC bio, uh, uh, the high file read is uh, recently available, maybe uh, uh, since uh, maybe uh, two years ago or something like that. And uh, this uh, high file read is. Uh, uh, the accuracy of a high file read is a very uh, high. Uh, that's why uh, uh, recently uh, we can get a uh, very uh, uh, high accurate uh, genome assembly scaffold or context uh, um, more easily than before. And uh, 
<clears throat> Nanopore sequencer is also uh, uh, good for uh, genome assembly. However, uh, the uh, accuracy of a nanopore sequen uh, read is uh, lower than a uh, PacBio HiFi read. So uh, when uh, uh, we do the uh, genome assembly uh, with a nanopore uh, read, well, we still need uh, the uh, using uh, short read uh, as well for uh, improve the uh, accuracy of uh, genome sequences. And uh, so this is a uh, uh, sequence uh, we have in a uh, KDRI. And uh, as I told uh, uh, first, first uh, we have we still have uh, many sanghas and for a short read, uh, even and DNBC, and for read, uh, long read, CKL2, and for another uh, uh, we currently uh, use uh, only a minion. And uh, so uh, from now on, I uh, briefly talk about the genome uh, assembly. So for uh, genome assembly, uh, we are uh, uh, mainly have uh, four different uh, uh, four steps. Uh, first is uh, DNA extraction. Then we do a library construction. Then a sequencing, and uh, then do a assembly. So uh, library construction. So library uh, means uh, same as a library in a books. So uh, we have uh, uh, make the uh, uh, reaction uh, solution, uh, uh, including uh, different types of DNA fragment. So uh, first we pre preparing uh, such a library and uh, doing a genome sequencing. And uh, so uh, for our library construction, this is an example of a short read. Uh, first, we uh, extract DNA and uh, we cut the uh, DNA, it's very short. And then uh, we uh, the adapter uh, is uh, added to the uh, both sides of the DNA for uh, start the uh, sequencing reactions. So this is an example of a short read. Uh, uh, but uh, for a long read sequences, uh, the uh, uh, basic strategy of uh, uh, library construction is the same as a short read. And for assembly, uh, first we have a read, and then uh, uh, we make a context uh, which uh, are based on this read. And then sometimes uh, we have a gap. So uh, we do uh, 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 connect uh, by using the uh, uh, some uh, specific read, uh, which uh, 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 using a specific type of a library, or uh, sometimes a long read uh, for the uh, bridge uh, the context. And this uh, approach is so called scaffold, scaffoldings. And then uh, we use a scaffold, and we sometimes uh, connect more for us. Uh, to uh, struct, uh, construct a super scaffold. And then uh, we finally uh, uh, obtain a chromosome scale scaffold, uh, scaffolding. So this is the uh, 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 steps of assembly. However, for example, uh, when uh, we use the high fi read, PacBio high fi read, uh, uh, we sometimes uh, obtain the uh, chromosome uh, uh, level uh, contigus uh, when uh, uh, by using this read. So uh, previously, uh, for getting a chromosome scale uh, scaffold, uh, we we have we had to do uh, many different steps uh, to to make the uh, more longer uh, uh, sequences uh, data set. Um, but uh, by using a uh, high fi read, uh, uh, we can um, skip. Those uh, steps. Uh, it uh, that means uh, uh, we say uh, uh, recently uh, we can get to the general assembly uh, more easily. So uh, this is a, a very good things. However, uh, uh, we should be careful uh, careful uh, for the uh, chromosome scale uh, scaffold uh, by uh, uh, constructing a high file lead because uh, it's. Uh, it of course uh, uh, it uh, gives you the uh, uh, chromosome scale scaffold, but uh, uh, at the same time uh, there is a possibility uh, uh, misassembly or this scaffold. So uh, uh, 
Uh, so, so when uh, you see the st uh, statistics of the result of assembly, uh, you can say, oh, this is a very good, uh, uh, we can get a very good scaffold, but the, uh, uh, we should uh, 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 be careful the uh, possibility of the uh, misassembly. And uh, uh, it is import important to, 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 to check uh, the possibility of a misassembly by using uh, different uh, technologies. So, and the Haishi library is the uh, uh, specific, uh, uh, special way of, uh, special uh, way of uh, library constructions, uh, 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 which gives you the uh, pair of the uh, 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 DNA sequencing fragment, uh, which uh, uh, originally uh, uh, located long distance. So this uh, high she library is uh, uh, another uh, useful uh, technologies for uh, making the uh, chromosome scale uh, scale holding, and uh, uh, by using these technologies, uh, 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 we can uh, get uh, uh, chromosome scale uh, scaffold uh, very uh, more easily. So. Uh, so, uh, uh, when I, for example, when you get the uh, scaffold level, uh, sorry, a uh, chromosome level scaffold by using PAC bios, uh, uh, even though uh, it is a chromosome scale level, uh, uh, it will be uh, uh, good uh, uh, if you uh, use a high C library and uh, uh, check the uh, its adequacy adequacies uh, by mapping a high she uh, read. And also, uh, uh, even though you use a high fi read, uh, you sometimes cannot get the uh, chromosome level uh, scaffold. So in, in those cases, uh, high she library, uh, libraries helps you a lot uh, to uh, construct a chromosome level scaffold. And uh, but uh, so so both uh, high fi read or high she library or uh, number uh, genome sequences are, are very good for uh, genome uh, chromosome level scaffold. Um, however, uh, again, uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, it uh, gives you the uh, misassembly. So this is an uh, example of a uh, uh, medical. Uh, uh, need to check the uh, misassemblies. So uh, this is, uh, uh, we, we do the uh, uh, genome sequences of a medical plant uh, at Dr. Rodos Rancher, uh, uh, which is used as a traditional medicine. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, we did a genome sequences a pack bio uh, assembly uh, for uh, these plants. And uh, actually, uh, at the time, uh, uh, hi read is uh, not available. So uh, we did uh, uh, genome sequences by using pack bio shikel. And then uh, uh, assembly was done uh, uh, by using Falcon. And uh, uh, we get the uh, scaffold. Then uh, uh, we uh, uh, doing uh, I do chromosome level scaffolding by using uh, uh, Omnishi reads. And Omnishi is uh, 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 similar types of uh, high she library and uh, it, uh, very uh, good for the uh, constructing a uh, scaffold level uh, chromosomes. And uh, by using uh, uh, Shikeo uh, pack by read and Omishi libraries, uh, we can get the uh, chromosome level scaffold. And uh, uh, literature said, uh, according to the literatures, uh, chromosome number of uh, this species are 12, and we can get uh, 12 uh, scaffold. So we thought, uh, okay, now uh, we can get the uh, chromosome scale uh, 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 scaffold. However, when uh, we uh, observed the uh, chromosomes, uh, we found uh, the uh, sequenced run has uh, uh, additional uh, chromosomes. So generally, uh, this uh, species, uh, the chromosome number is uh, uh, 
12 by 2, so it means 24. But the uh, sequences line, had the chromosome number was uh, 26. It means uh, one a pair of uh, additional uh, B chromosomes. So uh, this, we, we get the uh, 12 chromosome sca uh, sca scaffold by a bioinformatic analysis. However, uh, we find uh, we missed uh, this uh, gene sequences of this. So now uh, uh, we are uh, uh, doing the further analysis uh, to uh, getting uh, those uh, additional uh, gene sequences. But uh, the uh, message of here is uh, 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 there is a uh, so so we should uh, always uh, be careful. Uh, 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 the uh, result of a genome assembly and uh, another way, uh, uh, for example, in this case is a chromosome uh, observation uh, is a very important uh, to check the uh, this uh, result is uh, true or not. Uh, that's why now uh, uh, we have a collaboration work with, uh, collaboration with uh, uh, CHK, and we asked the uh, bionano analysis uh, to 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 uh, investigate the uh, 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 accuracy of uh, our genome assemblies uh, because uh, this uh, bionano analysis uh, uh, you can get the. Uh, uh, another types of data uh, which uh, uh, showing the uh, 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 order of uh, uh, sequences. So uh, we think uh, by using uh, these technologies, uh, we maybe uh, uh, we expect to improve the uh, uh, general assemblies. And uh, so, uh, so this is a. Uh, uh, plant genome sequences technologies. And uh, from now on, uh, 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 I'll uh, talk about the uh, our uh, plant garden uh, databases. And before then, uh, uh, I uh, talk again uh, how many plant species have been uh, sequenced. And uh, this is a uh, uh, database na named Krabi. And, uh, uh, this uh, database is uh, very good to, uh, to checking the uh, uh, current stats of uh, plant genome sequences. And uh, by uh, uh, seeing this database, uh, you can uh, uh, find uh, uh, the uh, uh, latest uh, situation of a plant genome sequences. So uh, please check uh, this database. And for a plant genome uh, sequencing databases, uh, there, there is a several uh, famous uh, databases. Uh, one is the uh, famous uh, genome sequences database is a phytosome, uh, which uh, uh, is managed by uh, JGI. And uh, it, uh, this database uh, includes the uh, very large number of uh, genome sequences. And also, uh, uh, ensemble plants, uh, sorry, I uh, miss uh, this. Uh, this uh, <clears throat> so, ensemble plant, and uh, this database is also uh, contains the uh, different types of uh, uh, plant genome sequences. And also, uh, when uh, you go to the uh, NCBI uh, databases and uh, check the uh, genome. Uh, uh, searches, uh, uh, you can get the, uh, uh, you, you can know uh, the, uh, which plant, which species is uh, already uh, uh, sequences. So those uh, three uh, genome, uh, those three uh, databases is uh, very uh, useful uh, to know uh, the, uh, to know and also to get uh, genome sequences information. However, uh, this these uh, databases is uh, sometimes difficult uh, to understand uh, or uh, getting the data, uh, especially for the uh, scientists uh, who are not familiar with, with the uh, plant genome sequences. That's why uh, we construct the uh, uh, another uh, uh, databases uh, named Plant Garden. 
And uh, uh, we are uh, designing uh, this databases uh, for more easy to understand. And also uh, this databases includes uh, uh, not only a genome sequences, uh, we include the uh, uh, DNA markers or QT information. And also uh, uh, we, uh, we are planning to include the linkage map informations. So uh, we, we hope, hope uh, uh, these uh, databases uh, uh, can uh, help to, to, to you, uh, to, can help to use uh, genome sequences uh, for the scientists uh, uh, who are not uh, familiar with the uh, genome sequences information. So, uh, so this databases, uh, we have uh, two different versions. Uh, one is a PC version and uh, the other is a tablet versions. And uh, uh, the post, and uh, this is a uh, uh, current content. And uh, uh, we uh, uh, include uh, 185 uh, species data for genomes and uh, genome. So some uh, species has a uh, uh, multiple uh, different types of uh, genome sequences. So the uh, genome sequences data is uh, uh, more, more than uh, uh, the number of uh, species. And we also include uh, uh, gene information and VCF file and GVCF file means this is a uh, uh, SNP information. So the list of uh, SNP uh, uh, identified on the uh, uh, different accession, uh, it's a uh, register uh, uh, listed, uh, this is a file format, uh, sorry. And uh, we also uh, uh, register DNA markers and uh, threat related to loci means the acuity uh, uh, information. And uh, so when uh, you go to the uh, click uh, or species name here, or uh, uh, you go to the uh, search by uh, species, uh, you can get the, uh, uh, the list of uh, uh, plant species. And then uh, after, then uh, when uh, you uh, uh, choose a specific type of a species, uh, you will go to the species pages. And in, in this species pages, uh, there's uh, uh, several different types of information. Uh, first, you can see uh, the, uh, about the species uh, uh, information. And uh, there is a taxonomy ID uh, links. And when you uh, click to the, uh, this link, uh, you go to the NCBI uh, ta taxonomy pages, and uh, you can uh, run, uh, see more uh, about the detail of uh, uh, this species. And then uh, genome, uh, assembled genomes. And if uh, different types of uh, genome sequences available for the one species, uh, uh, you can choose the uh, uh, your favorable types of genome sequences, and genes. Uh, genes is uh, generally uh, identified on the uh, each uh, assembled genomes. So uh, gene information is also listed uh, by the uh, different uh, each uh, genome assembled versions, and then uh, uh, DNA markers. Uh, uh, it's a PCR based DNA markers. So you can uh, find, uh, search the uh, primary information here. And also, uh, we have uh, QTL information and uh, blast analysis uh, for this uh, species and uh, uh, SNP information and uh, linkage map information. And also, there is a, a link to uh, other uh, databases. And this is an example of how to use uh, this databases. Uh, for example, uh, this is a peanuts cases, and this uh, this uh, figure uh, comes from the uh, tablet versions. And uh, for example, uh, when you uh, search the peanuts disease resistant QTL, you can find one uh, QTL. Then uh, uh, in this uh, Acute uh, pages, the uh, DNA markers near the QTL uh, is uh, listed here. And uh, by clicking uh, this DNA markers, yeah, you can see the uh, detail about the DNA markers. 
And then uh, uh, when you uh, check your J browse, uh, you can see the, uh, this, uh, the position of DNA markers on their genomes. And uh, you also uh, see the uh, uh, such as their genes are uh, uh, located near these QTLs and uh, can find the uh, gene information uh, by clicking the uh, uh, genes on, on uh, j -Brout. And uh, so, uh, so uh, you can uh, easily find the uh, genes uh, near, located near QTLs. And also, uh, uh, if you want to check the uh, variant the, uh, uh, on the genes, uh, you can see the uh, uh, variant here uh, by choosing the uh, accession lines, uh, which uh, identified the variant and registered uh, in this databases. And so this is a usage. And uh, another uh, point of this uh, plant garden is uh, we uh, performed uh, re-annotations for all genes are uh, registered in this databases. Uh, this is because uh, so functional uh, gene annotation uh, uh, what is uh, generally done uh, by the uh, uh, scientists who publish the uh, genome gene sequences. Uh, however, uh, the uh, method for functional uh, uh, annotation is a different depending on the uh, scientist and the uh, uh, level or item uh, is uh, uh, different uh, depending on the uh, uh, method uh, they use. That's why uh, if we are, we are just uh, transfer the original uh, information to the uh, databases, we cannot compare the, the uh, uh, information are uh, annotated by uh, different authors uh, together. That's why uh, uh, we uh, did uh, re annotations uh, to uh, uh, compare the uh, uh, information uh, come from uh, different data sources. And uh, we used a uh, higher annotation uh, method uh, for uh, uh, functional uh, gene annotations. And uh, this uh, method, uh, this uh, uh, annotation method uh, uh, gives you the, uh, 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 based on uh, three databases, also DB and Unipod and RISEC. And uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, because uh, <coughs> uh, by uh, annotation of uh, this method, uh, you can get the uh, uh, also group uh, unique IDs, uh, which uh, uh, are showing uh, highly uh, similarity uh, to the uh, target genes. And because this is uh, uh, also log information, sorry, my cat is coming. Uh, my uh, also, uh, also log, uh, information, uh, you can uh, compare the uh, similarity uh, uh, at all you can find the genes uh, which have uh, 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 similar function or similar sequences uh, for the uh, different type of uh, uh, plant species or another uh, species. And this is a SNP information. So uh, for SNP information, uh, 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 we uh, identify a variants uh, uh, for the uh, public uh, sequen uh, SRA uh, sequences. Uh, so um, we have uh, two types of uh, variant information. One is the uh, all uh, variant list uh, for uh, uh, using uh, uh, variant call. And uh, another type of list is uh, it, it, GVCF, uh, which is just uh, shows the uh, uh, variant for each uh, accessions. And uh, so this is the contents of a plant garden. And uh, uh, so final topics uh, I talk today is a role of databases uh, has been changed. And uh, so <clears throat> just just a moment, my, my cat is just moving oh, from Sorry. And so, uh, so, uh, 
before a uh, uh, database is a just a how to say databases which our users are looking for but now uh, uh, users has uh, their own databases uh, sometimes uh, because uh, now is a NGS uh, era so user own their big data that's why uh, uh, user want to uh, compare their own data to to the uh, source databases, uh, so the uh, uh, way of uh, search of databases is uh, becoming changes. That's why now uh, uh, we are uh, considering to do the change of the database system as well. And uh, currently, a uh, plant garden, uh, this data, uh, plant garden data is. Uh, in our, uh, our KDR servers, and uh, people uh, uh, use us uh, check our data uh, by using uh, uh, networks. And now uh, we are co constructing uh, another way of uh, uh, databases, uh, which we called uh, My Garden. And uh, by using this one, uh, this uh, style of uh, databases, uh, uh, we want uh, we want to allow to uh, users uh, can compare their own data uh, to the uh, plant garden databases. So um, <clears throat> my garden is an uh, ongoing uh, project and uh, haven't uh, uh, finished, but the uh, uh, we uh, uh, distribute uh, some of our, our products uh, from the uh, uh, our two uh, links. So when you click uh, uh, Brand Garden top page let's analysis, uh, you can see uh, several different type of uh, uh, tools uh, which uh, user uh, can uh, compare the. Uh, it's their data to their plant garden data, uh, such as uh, SNP analysis and uh, RNA-seq or JBrowse. And <clears throat> so, uh, so this SNP workflow, RNA-seq and JBrowse, and also uh, uh, tools for merging uh, different uh, GVC file and uh, another uh, good uh, Convenient tool. And so this uh, five tool is uh, now available as a My Garden. And uh, we are distributing uh, those tools uh, by using Docker. So uh, Docker is uh, uh, technologies uh, which can, can, uh, 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 can uh, manage the uh, 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 tools uh, uh, which can install the uh, tools uh, more uh, easily uh, for users. So, um, <clears throat> so uh, when you uh, download this uh, My Garden tools, uh, actually uh, because uh, this tool is uh, distributed by Docker, uh, uh, before using these tools, uh, you should uh, install uh, Docker and. Uh, 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 Install Docker and then uh, install uh, 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 our My Garden tools, and then uh, can operate the uh, our My Garden tools. And uh, so this is an example of a SNP workflow. Sorry, uh, it's a Japanese version. Uh, but uh, when uh, you uh, start, uh, you uh, install a SNP workflow versions. Uh, uh, you can uh, select the. Uh, Genomes are uh, registered in plant garden, or uh, you can uh, uh, register your own uh, genome sequences uh, for uh, doing uh, SNP uh, identifications. Then, uh, uh, after you uh, select your genome sequences, uh, you uh, input your uh, read data and also uh, uh, Files uh, which uh, describe about the uh, read files uh, information. Then uh, uh, you can uh, do in the uh, quality check or uh, your read and also mapping the uh, uh, read to the reference and then uh, doing the uh, variant course. So similar steps uh, is also available for uh, RNA seq now. So and then uh, because uh, variant call uh, uh, 
it means a SNP detection or RNA seq. Uh, you can do the your own PC. However, the uh, calculation uh, is a uh, very large, so it takes a lot of times. So uh, there is a times to, to sorry to getting uh, <clears throat> output file, but uh, uh, anyway, uh, the uh, when the uh, uh, calculation was finished, a zip file is automatically download. And uh, then uh, you can see the uh, result uh, 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 by uh, uh, from the archive file. So uh, this is so this uh, method is already available. However, uh, we are afraid it is still difficult uh, for uh, some of users because uh, it uses Docker's and. Uh, and also uh, Docker required uh, uh, some uh, command line uh, tasks. So for the users uh, who don't want uh, uh, Docker install or uh, some other install way, uh, install uh, as a, so I'm sorry. So the, for the users who don't want to the uh, installing Docker or operate the uh, systems uh, or by using uh, Docker, or for the users uh, who don't wait the uh, calculations on your, your PCs because it uh, takes a uh, uh, lot of uh, times. Uh, we also uh, uh, make the uh, uh, another <coughs> service, uh, which is a cloud basis uh, uh, SNPs. So, <coughs> so when uh, you go to the so, this uh, two list pages, you can see this uh, analysis on uh, um, plat uh, Ancat platform. So this is a cloud basis service. And uh, when uh, uh, you register this uh, Ancat uh, 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 systems, uh, you can uh, use the uh, cloud basis uh, uh, SNP information, uh, SNP analysis, uh, without uh, install uh, the uh, Docker or my garden on your uh, platform. But uh, because this uh, this system is uh, used uh, cloud basis, so uh, this is not free, and uh, 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 you you should pay uh, 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 some cost. And uh, also, uh, in current uh, in Japanese uh, system is only uh, available. Uh, however, uh, if you are interested in the, uh, using these uh, systems and want to operate by yourself, uh, please uh, contact me and I, I talk to uh, with the uh, guys uh, who uh, manage uh, these systems. So thank you very much for your attention and also patience. And also, uh, I'm sorry, uh, my cat are coming and uh, becoming noisy. But anyway, uh, 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 this is uh, our, our, our uh, I'm pleased to, 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 to talk uh, and uh, our activity today. And uh, this is uh, our teams, Casadini uh, Research Institute, also uh, Amplat guys uh, who uh, uh, this, uh, developed the uh, My Garden, and also uh, uh, people uh, in Tsumura and Chiba University. And also, uh, uh, this uh, work is uh, 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 collaborate uh, with uh, uh, CUHK. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Dr. Isobe. So, uh, Dr. Isobe has um, given a brief overview about the development of uh, genome sequencing, and they have built an interesting website. Um, and it's right now it's in Japanese, but as you said, it's possible to discuss with um, people who are interested in their service and then make um, other languages. So yes. there are more than 100 species, right? Already input in the database and with a user-friendly interface so that people can use it more easily. So that, that's very exciting. So before we end, or some suggestion for, uh, for Dr. Isabel to further improve her website, right? So anyone want to 
uh, start asking the questions. And maybe I start asking, right? So, so uh, Dr. Isofia, so besides plants, are you also going to um, put the genome information about, say, uh, microbes that are associated with plants? Uh, yes, uh, it's not uh, just the statics and not still not the main work uh, of uh, uh, our lab, but uh, uh, for example, uh, we uh, investigate the uh, uh, metagenomes of the uh, uh, metagenomes of the uh, soils of uh, organic farms, and uh, the uh, this uh, metagenome uh, 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 compares the metagenome uh, result and also the uh, productivity uh, uh, comparing uh, those uh, data. So uh, it's just started. Okay, all right. Okay, so is there any other questions from the audience? Okay, then I ask another one. Oh, yes, Kaya. Kaya has way to her hand. Kaya? Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, thank you very much, um, Dr. Isobe, for your uh, uh, great talk about the uh, plant sequencing and the database building. Uh, I would like to ask uh, for the database, besides for the sequences and uh, maybe uh, SNP maps, uh, etc., uh, uh, are there any plans to put other types of data using the gen uh, genome assembly? Uh, uh, it's also so. You mean so what types of the plant species is included in databases? Uh, so, uh, I mean, uh, for uh, the types of data are used in the genome assembly. So uh, besides uh, for uh, sequences and uh, the SNPs. Uh, uh, so so for, uh, 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 for uh, genome sequences, uh, uh, we are uh, uh, doing a manual curation of a publicly available data and uh, we register the uh, uh, chromosome level uh, assembled genome sequences so the uh, data is not only uh, uh, generated generated in uh, our lab and uh, we just uh, 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 collect the uh, publicly available data so uh, so different types of uh, genome sequences and also uh, gene sequence sequences and uh, we also uh, 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 doing a manual curate of the uh, literature for uh, DNA markers and QTL analysis. However, for SNP information, uh, we are anal analyzed by ourselves. So uh, we uh, 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 obtain the SRS uh, from the uh, NCBI databases and doing a variant call and then uh, uh, register our databases. So I think the, the question is, do, do you also have um, like transcriptomic data or proteinomic data or phenotypic data because you do a lot of uh, automated uh, Yes, so uh, uh, phenotypic data or transcript data, so we uh, didn't uh, register so because uh, it's, uh, it's another huge work and uh, uh, we cannot do the uh, uh, handles uh, the data uh, uh, for our teams. Okay. Well, thank you very much for the thank explanation. You. So how about um, <clears throat> comparative genomics? So since you have so many genomes there, so would there be tools to investigate the synteny of different uh, co-species? Yeah, for the uh, comparison of the uh, genome sequences, uh, now uh, our databases uh, don't uh, provide the uh, the result of a comparison. Uh, we just uh, check the uh, uh, sequence similarities by uh, author of uh, information. But um, I'm just a uh, yeah, cons considering the uh, uh, chromosome scale uh, comparisons for uh, different uh, types of uh, genome uh, sequences, uh, because uh, not only the uh, uh, comparison between uh, 
genomes of the different species, but also now uh, we have uh, many number of uh, genome sequences in one species, uh, which, uh, so now we are go to the more pan-genome uh, errors. So I think the, uh, uh, we should uh, develop the uh, some functions for a comparison of uh, genome sequences, but uh, it's just uh, concerning and uh, not uh, 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 achieves right now. Okay. All right. So let's see whether there's other questions. You can type me into the chat box or just, just turn on your microphone. Joanna, uh, please unmute yourself. Uh, my question is, uh, thank you, Isabel. This is a very, very interesting uh, uh, presentation. And my question is, is your organization the only one that's offering such type of uh, analysis and services? Or are there many organizations doing similar things in the world? You mean the uh, service means the uh, SNP analysis tools? A database, so yeah. Uh, databases. Mm -hmm. uh, for databases, uh, so there are several another famous databases like uh, Phytosome or Ensemble. But those databases is uh, more for only for uh, genome sequences or gene sequences. So you cannot compare the uh, uh, DNA marker or cutary information uh, together with the uh, genome sequences. But uh, at the same time, for uh, each species like rice or soybeans, uh, you have uh, soy bases or uh, 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 another uh, uh, databases for uh, focus on a specific uh, uh, species. So in this case, in those uh, databases, you can uh, compare the different type of data, uh, genome sequences to the DNA markers. So there are several different uh, types of databases. Uh, however, there is no databases which cover uh, many different plant species as well as uh, different type of uh, uh, data types. Uh, that's why uh, we uh, constructed uh, plant gardens. I see. Thank you. Thank you. Interesting. So I have another question. So, in, in, so it seems you are coming from Japan, right? So I'm interested to ask the question. So in Japan, what are the most important crops that um, the people go for a lot and we, we will actually use the genome data from the database to do crop improvement? So the uh, most important crop is, uh, I think, rice. Mm. And we have uh, a database uh, focusing on rice. And so, of course, soybean is uh, another important crop, and I think uh, there is a soybean databases. But uh, um, for example, now uh, people uh, start to considering to to use um, uh, genetic uh, plant resources, uh, which wild resources for uh, for uh, breeding. Or we sometimes do in uh, gene editing um, methodologies. So I think knowing the uh, uh, different type of plant species are uh, more important for the uh, uh, scientists uh, from now on. Uh, so I think the uh, databases like plant garden, you can see the uh, you can you can you can make more big world uh, and see the, uh, what happened to uh, another plant species. And uh, I think this is maybe a uh, good for the uh, 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 plant sciences uh, who studies uh, for a specific uh, plant species. How, how about med medicinal plant? Right? So hmm? How about medicinal plant? The plants for medicine. So have you also included the plants for like herbal medicines in your data. Yes, yes. So uh, in plant gardens, uh, uh, we include uh, medical plants and also uh, include the plant uh, which uh, doesn't use industries. So it's 
so we just uh, get the information uh, if the uh, this uh, information quality is uh, uh, enough to 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 register. Okay. All right. So, would the audience has any further question for Doctor Isabe? So I haven't seen any hands. Yeah. So maybe it's, it's kind of late <laughs> for some for some of us, right? But before um, well, of course, it depends. Uh, Doctor Isabe again. So before we leave, so let me do some uh advertisement <laughs> for our next talk. Okay, so um, let me bring up a poster. So our next talk uh, will be by uh, Dr. Coti. So Dr. Coti is from Argentina. So after listening to the story from Japan, so in next month, we will try to um, have a speaker from Argentina from National Scientific and Technology Scientific and Technical Research Council, one of the biggest scientific um, bodies in Argentina. So she will talk about uh, soybeans as an agri uh, ag uh, agro fruits resources. So Argentina is the world's number three production uh, soybean production country. So Brazil, USA, Argentina. So they have made a lot of use of soybean to make oil and other products. So it is great to have a um, researchers from Argentina to talk about the situation there. So if you are interested, please um, register. It will be on the November 11. But the time is somewhat different because we want to make sure that the Argentina speaker uh, can, can be with us. Otherwise, uh, if this is like too early in the morning, it's impossible. So in Hong Kong time, it will be Three o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, so Japan time will be three, four o'clock in the afternoon. And for African fans and also US fans, uh, I think the US fan probably is quite difficult because it's in the early morning. So, but uh, for South Africa and Europe fans, it will be nine o'clock in the morning. Okay, so I think um, that with that, I we thank the speakers again, and I hope to see everybody again soon all right so uh i have to say goodbye for now and good night for asian friends okay bye 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 everybody bye bye thank, thank you. you thank you thank you